Well, two contemporary African artists showed their work recently here in Washington. We have two reports, first by VOA's Carolyn Turner. The African sculptor El Anatsui visited the Museum of African Art for his first solo exhibit in the United States. The popular artist, originally from Ghana, teaches at the University of Nigeria. The exhibit, Gawu, features the artist's transformation of discarded materials into striking tapestries and objects of beauty. Hundreds or even thousands of metal objects are joined together to create art celebrating Africa's rich heritage. Metal cloth tapestries are made with aluminum wrappings from the tops of bottles from local distilleries. Rusty metal graters are fashioned into a wall. Three-dimensional sculptures are made from tops of evaporated milk tins. The forms are layered with meanings. El Anatsui explains. You know, I think it would be difficult for me to work with something which has not been uh, touched by human hand. You allow the material itself to lead you on. Because I believe that all materials have, uh, you know, their own language. The artist's humble metal fragments provide commentary on globalization, consumerism, and waste. But El Anatsui says he doesn't consciously start out to make a political statement with his work, or even a vision of the finished product. No, you, you don't have the vision of a final piece, which is what makes it uh, interesting to me because uh, at the end of it all, I end up surprising myself, you know. <laughs> yeah. Another work, Waste Paper Basket, is an eight-foot-tall sculpture of an oversized waste paper basket made from discarded printing plates used for newspaper obituary pages. El Anatsui is recognized as one of the foremost contemporary artists of his generation. He has received international acclaim for his constantly evolving and highly experimental sculpture. Carolyn Turner, VOA News. Award-winning Nigerian-American artist Victor Ekpuk uses insipid graphic shapes and symbols in his artwork. Ancient Nigerians used these forms to communicate before the invention of letters and writing. Ekbuk became familiar with insipidi while a fine art student in Nigeria. What I do is not insipidi 100%. I mix them with contemporary symbols. Some are very personal, some are universal. says African history not only influences his artwork, but contemporary art in general. I don't think anybody or any artist is an island unto themselves. Um, the more, the more I, I looked at modern art, which I guess is what you refer to as Western, the more I see a lot of African influence in them. In fact, the very first time I saw Miro's work, he just took me right back to the mural paintings of women in the villages like where I come from. I happen to come from a culture that inspired that movement. Ekbuk uses various mediums such as pastel, acrylics, even poster markers. He sometimes mixes natural elements such as sand in his paintings. He says the sand in the background of this painting represents his emotions about global warming in Africa. Ekbuk is often inspired by social and political issues and by President Barack Obama. He's a successful man. He's, he's, he's a bright person. And um, he's, um, I think for me, it is much more than him being an African. It's just that he is who he is. He is an intelligent person and he brings a lot to, I think he's going to bring a lot to America and the world. As an African-American, he says he's proud of what America has achieved. Yes, I voted too. <laughs> so, so I am an American, so I'm proud that it's, it's you know, that, that America has also shown the world that it could live up to its um, uh, 
the dream of his founding father. So, you know. Ekbok has shown his art in several American universities and museums, including the National Museum of African Art in Washington. He also has exhibited in Nigeria and Holland. Sahar Sepehri, VOA News.